anybody are investing for the secondary market they want to predict the price based on the market condition okay so which is completely there is something analysis or technical analysis are required uh, whenever the payment is going at uh, the clearance uh, house which is completely bombay stock exchange or national stock exchange when you are talking related to clearing the payment settlement any specific company they are raising a capital definitely they want to go for listing so you are getting a more clarity about the definition of listing everyone you're warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lecturer in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysore the temple of excellence we are in the unit 3 session 3 fifth semester bcom financial institution and the market the chapter name is primary market and secondary market and today my agenda so you are getting a more clarity about the how what kind of method what different types of methods uh, methods in the stock market of secondary market okay and the next one recognition of stock exchange in the secondary market and you will get more clarity about the functions of bombay stock exchange okay shortly we can call it as a bse and the next two functions of national stock exchange nse and the functions of uh, over the counter market and a listed of security and the trading procedures uh, in the uh, stock market so you are getting more clarity one by one coming slides uh, now the first one the methods of stock market in secondary market the first one uh, there are different types of methods so the first one fundamental analysis this fundamental analysis uh, the word only which is suggesting uh, any uh, trading uh, the valuations of a stock uh, okay so the fundamental analysis evaluating the stock intrinsic value which is within the company by examining various financial and economical factor related to underlining the company because when the company are raising a capital with the help of a stock obviously they want to go for evaluating okay using the intrinsic value which is completely company now next one technical analysis there are different types of a technical analysis uh, uh, which is involved for secondary market okay so here the technical analysis focus on studying the historical price because uh, at the top for example if the uh, the company started in the year of 2020 so uh, now whenever they are giving offer to the initial public offer which is coming under the primary market now when you are trying to compare with the 2023 so which is always the data is already recorded so that is the historical price and the value pattern of a predict future price movement so anybody are investing for the secondary market they want to predict the price based on the market condition okay so which is completely there is something analysis or technical analysis are required so no one is willing to go for investing blindly so unless if they don't have any idea about the technical analysis they're going to face the loss next one quantitative analysis the quantitative which is a numerical characteristic huh? the quantitative analysis involves uh, using a mathematical model there are different types of mathematical models are available for the stock market so using a statistical technique to evaluate uh, stock uh, okay so if you want to evaluate this stock uh, we are using a statistical tool to get to know and investment opportunity so once the quantitative analysis are done uh, you have an uh, right options to go for investing so uh, next one sentimental analysis sentimental analysis uh, gauge the mood of the market by accessing the collective feeling and opinion of the investor uh, here uh, the investors uh, they're ready to choose any particular company product uh, company stock uh, obviously they want to go for doing a sentimental analysis next one event driven analysis the event driven analysis focus on specific event uh, that can be in fact the stock price because the uh, price is not always constant so which is based on the market condition the moment uh, what we are finding fluctuations are there such as earning uh, release uh, and merger and acquisition and regulatory change so obviously there is a lot of uh, uh, changes we are finding okay and next one top down and bottom up approach here top to down and bottom to up so analysis of broader economical and market condition before narrowing down the individual stock there are different types of company are listed uh, they are giving an offer to the investors okay either which is a primary market or secondary market so obviously there is an approach right now moving to the next one recognition of stock exchange in the secondary market how you can recognize 
the first one regulatory recognition uh, security exchange commission which is uh, related to united state uh, now if you are talking related to india security exchange board of india which is completely taking regulation authority okay and next one listing requirement if any particular company want to raise the fund with the help of primary and secondary market they want to compulsory uh, listing the requirement okay and next one market infrastructure so we are offering we are giving an offer we are raising a fund with the help of market so we should know the infrastructure of market and next one market surveillance so which is always the 24 bar 7 which is an observed way okay the trading uh, completely the price movement uh, that is a uh, disclosure of information of the company so everything is, which is an uh, surveillance and the next one market transparency here investors uh, and company whatever the, they are doing a trading in between the investors and the company so which is a transparency investors want to get more clarity about the uh, company financial condition okay our profit and loss our share movements whatever the investor protections are very important because investors are ready to go for investing for the particular company like under listed company so here yeah, they want to get protection so again the uh, regulatory uh, recognition uh, exchange board are giving a, uh, the safety to the investor okay which is directly or indirectly a monitor are controlled next one the functions of bombay stock exchange so majorly in india we are there are two major bomb, uh, stock exchange which is bombay stock exchange uh, so again which is uh, related to either nifty or nifty 50 nifty 500 uh, okay so whatever the company are listing the primary market facilitation any company are rising fund with the help of uh, Bombay Stock Exchange which is uh, related to uh, Sensex, uh, National Stock Exchange which is related to Nifty, so which is an index we are talking related to. Now the secondary market trading, so once the primary market uh, when you are giving offer, initial public offer for the first time which is uh, the company is uh, issuing a uh, shares to the shareholders next to secondary market so which is al always going for the day to day uh, when you are don't want to hold the shares you can easily sell using a secondary market so there is a right platform uh, providing to the investor and next one market index uh, when we are talking related to markets uh, index uh, which is completely bombay uh, stock exchange which is uh, uh, sensex is an uh, index uh, okay and the listing of securities any company if they want to go for a rising a fund with the help of share capital so a stock a security a bond a, definitely they want to go for listing fulfilling the listing requirement whatever they expected by the exchange office next one again market surveillance so which is key every day the activity or transactions are now monitored so which is the surveillance is required moving to the uh, functions of national stock exchange Okay, NSE, the completely national stock exchange which is talking related to NEF 50, NIFTY 500, uh, okay. So, uh, here the electronic trading, we are not doing any platform, like we are not selected, uh, investors are not selected, our company are not uh, provided uh, like a paper transaction nowadays. So, the complete transaction which is a link between the electronic uh, platform, so that's what uh, as an investor when they want to go for investing in any specific company using a, getting a support like a brokerage, okay, broker and uh, opening a DMAT account completely which is the investment bank you have to choose here and the next one index management I am uh, talking majorly Sensex and Bombay Stock Exchange uh, so Nifty or Sensex uh, obviously the index weightage index is very important so that is also functions uh, the uh, National Stock Exchange and next one bar market development because the market completely uh, rising a fund with the help of security different securities so the development we are finding because capital formations are very important for any company okay next one investors education here uh, because now you uh, when you are studying in the any like uh, graduation you are doing okay the stock exchange one specific concept you going to study so here the national stock exchange also creating a more awareness about the stock market because uh, nation uh, development uh, we are overall capital formation number of industry which is uh, rising a fund uh, okay everybody is uh, need finance support so obviously we need to uh, educate the uh, students now clearing and settlement uh, whenever the payment is going at uh, the clearance uh, house which is completely bombay stock exchange or national stock exchange when you are talking related to clearing the payment settlement okay and uh, settlement moving to the 
a functions of over the counter over the counter market because which is a direct there is no mediator okay so direct trading uh, in between the investors are uh, try to go for investing in the specific company okay so here you can save most of the commissions part here and the la lack of formal regulation a lack of formal regulations so here the formal regulation completely regulated by the regulatory authority so obviously we can find out here next one customized financial instrument so which is completely customized either i am going for 10 uh, one lot or uh, two lot uh, or uh, minimum 50 okay there is no compulsory which is completely customized according to their investor capacity and next one market for derivative so here f and o we are talking uh, future and options uh, derivative which is a uh, uh, intra trade uh, or delivery part so which is coming under the uh, derivative and the risk management obviously uh, any in investment you are doing there is a lot of risk is are involved World. so the risk management also it's going here and next one leasing of security any specific company they are raising a capital definitely they want to go for listing so you are getting a more clarity about the definition of listing so it refers to the process by which company share are officially included in the trade market okay a market so the traded on the stock exchange the company want to list under the uh, specific exchange Next one, the requirement for listing. Any company blindly, they cannot go for listing. So there, there is something like a, a requirement which is related to economical factor of the company and financial feasibility. So everything, the company need to meet certain uh, criteria to set by the exchange of qualify for listing. Like uh, financial uh, balance sheet, uh, they want to provide, uh, okay, and proper uh, license will be there. There are a lot of requirement uh, as an individual company they want to fulfill, then only they can go for listing and the now type of security listed what type of one is a common stock like uh, equity shares and preference shares and bond okay so these are the type of uh, security they can list here in this exchange now the listing procedure how so here the company uh, when the exchange has given an open date so the submission of applications very important individual companies are submitting the application so fulfilling the all requirement and the company interested in listing submit and applications to the exchange. This is the first uh, uh, procedure. And next one, due diligence, which is talking related to governance here. And the stock exchange conduct through the due diligence to ensure that applying company meet the listing requirement. Uh, so which is the governance guidelines or legal guidelines are uh, fulfilled. Okay, next one, uh, third one, approval. Now, finally, after submission of your applications, uh, so now they, they want to go for a verification or a scrutiny, so then only which is approved. Okay, if the company satisfied all the criteria, the stock exchange grant approval for listing. Otherwise, if they are not fulfilling the criteria, so it can be a reject here. I'm moving to the next uh, fifth one, benefit of listing. What benefit individual companies are getting at the time of, uh, when they are going for listing? The first one, access to capital because they can raise the capital okay, easily. As investors, when they are before starting investing, they are trying to get a more clarity. Either this company are listed or not listed. Okay. And the listed company can raise fund by issuing a additional sales or bond to the public. Okay, to the public. Next to liquidity. When liquidity, which is nothing but easily you can conversion, okay, into the cash. Uh, shareholders can easily buy or sell security on the open market, enhancing liquidity because everybody is now they are maintaining a liquid asset. Okay, so which is a stock market or securities, which is nothing but a uh, liquidity position. Now, now visibility and prestige. Okay, the visibility. So at the time of accessing here, uh, before going for investment, uh, there is something like a, a right flat for a um, website. Uh, okay, so the listing, the visibility we can find out here. The listing on major stock exchange can be enhance the company reputation. The company are li listed means that there is a good reputation image. Okay, and visibility in the financial community, visibility in the financial community, easily you can. Uh, next one, listing on global exchange, not only for uh, Indian market or Indian, any specific country like India, you can go for a, a listing under the globe market. 
uh, some company choose to list on the multiple stock exchange globally to access the broader investor base because we have a complete uh, freedom liberalization after liberalization we can go for investing any other country post listing obligation after listing what other the uh, responsibility obligations uh, individual company want to follow and here the continuous disclosure okay now for example in the 2020 you have listed your company so 21 you are not able to provide the documents or disclosing the accounting information definitely you have to provide so which is a disclosure continuous disclosure is very important well, listing company are required to disclose the information regularly, ensuring the transparency for the investor. Then only the investors can believe or accepting. Okay. Uh, next one, compliance. Company must adhere to the ongoing regulatory to governance the standard set by the stock exchange. So maybe which is a revising again and again. So obviously individual company they want to fulfill. Moving forward, next one. Uh, trading procedures in the stock market what trading procedures want to follow okay and now order placement so here major investor place buy or sell order through the broker because uh, uh, now the broker is acting like an agent okay individual investor opening a demand account there are different types of platforms are available now order can be a market orders executed at the current market price okay so which is the current market price at the time of purchasing or investing the buying price which is completely depending on the current market price okay a limit order executed to specific uh, price or better okay next one order routing so broker route the order to the stock exchange where the stock exchange is listed because the broker is acting like an agent so now is going to involve here now electronic trading platform match buy and sell order now it is a it default now we are doing we are not doing for the manual like a paper a transaction we are doing a electronic transaction automatically the electronic platform can execute your order now order matching you need to match your orders so the orders are matched based on the price and time period okay a priority the best bid highest price of the buyer willing to buy at the time of the price of the stock uh, it's, uh, if it is reduced the investors are taking a right steps to uh, taking additions for investing if the price is high they are going to sell the uh, security is matched with the best uh, ask lowest price is the seller is willing to accept okay the uh, the lowest price they are purchasing uh, they are try to buy and the high price when it is market the prices are increased now they at the time they are try to go for selling now moving further trading procedure of stock action fourth one execution now after placing your buying order or selling order now execution is a reality we can find out the traders are executed and confirmation message sent to the broker or investor individually either you are talking related to individual investors or institutional investor so your brokers also we can say here yeah. uh, next one the trade reporting obviously we need to get a trade report uh, what quantity we place what price uh, we, we we need a report right so the stock exchange report executed trade including details like a price uh, quantity time uh, when it is everything which is a report you are getting thank you keep on watch for next section